Hey everybody, it's Matt at Sparkle Farm. We have a situation here on the property. It's and it's it's all hinged on our Ford here. So our local John Deere dealer has a really sound deal. You know, they're not giving their tractors away, but they have brand new 2019s three family series i still haven't really figured that out that's new to new to me but they have a really good deal they going on sparkle and i went there this morning and checked them all out pretty much same tractor just brand new um it's the th we're looking at the th 3025e and the 3032e and it's the their economy tractor that's very similar to this and it's probably my guess was i didn't know how much they really were but i do know tractors are just plain expensive but we thought it was about like like seven eight thousand dollars less than what we thought they were selling for um so we were pleasantly surprised with that but we still have a tractor and in our area tractors with loaders on the front sell pretty quick at a very good price especially a running one and that's what ours is you know just finished tilling uh, the bucket works great four-wheel drive works all the gears work the lights work um i've been doing the maintenance on it changing the hydraulic fluid changing the oil uh still need to change the coolant in it but it's running just great and starts great in the winter so i'm going to clean it up and see what i can sell it for and at the dealer they're really i don't know accommodating because the you know it's like buying to be honest this tractor this new tractor will probably be more than my first like eight or nine cars combined so uh, yeah so it's a lot to take in but if we can get it for a great price it'd be going from the mid 80s to brand new you know that's you know just maintenance wise you know something's bound to happen on the ford but like i was saying tractors in our area sell really well um if but it, oh but going back to it at the dealer if you signed up today you get locked in to their price for 30 days so it's not like i had to buy it today and chance selling this so i'm going to put it up for sale you know they said they can have it delivered within two days uh since they had a handful of them in stock and you know we could go two days without a tractor so yeah just gonna power wash it um make sure everything's all topped off and put it on the internet and see what happens so i'm gonna keep the rototiller though unless the deal's right in the front forks but you know if that makes it sell for a little more maybe we'll uh work with that you know everything's negotiable so let's get to cleaning it up on the John Deere 410 today uh, this is the trouble spot right here uh, it's just always a poor connection if the 
backhoe doesn't want to start. It always seems like that's where it's shorting out. So my dad has some pieces parts uh, and we'll put a new eyelet on there and we'll get that straightened out and hopefully that solves our starting problem. Perfect. You can see how crusty it is here. But hopefully put the new eyelet on it. We have to cut it back maybe because it's been hot and uh, usually get brittle and yep. Alright, so we're gonna cut it back and strip it. All but one, huh? That's mm -hmm. good. Fuzzy was up there now. Make oh yeah. So put that down the face in the right way. Alright, so we zoom in for you. So we got the eyelet on and now using a hydraulic crimp. Oh yeah, it's on there nice and tight. All right, so that. So there, there'd be no way for us to actually crimp it well without that. All right, so let's tuck the wire back in. That's all we needed to do with that. Oh, that works out perfect. Do you want to tin it or you want to solder it? Or? I think that should be okay. okay. So I can't. I can't really get it off that side. Now that that's back together and tight, I'm going to go grab the backhoe key and let's uh, fire this up. It already seems better. Like I could hear it click on. I'm, uh, Nothing's changed on that front, but uh, let's go get that stuff.
out to the burn pile. Alright, my dad got this at a garage sale and needed some repair. He had a wire it up to a 12 volt battery to fire, but it is awesome for honey. It, I think this almost beats the drone. All right, so what this is, it's a tennis ball launcher, softball, hardball, whatever fits down here. And here, it's a compressor. So that's set at 75%. Let me show you, it's set at 100% when honey gets back. Come on, drop it. So she's already figured out how far it goes. And so she basically goes three quarters of the distance, just in case. Uh... So we're at a hundred percent. So I'd say that's definitely 120, 130 feet it shoots. So that means honey gets to run you know, 250 feet each time. So that's as, as good as it gets for me to tire her out. So, yeah, a fun little play for honey. All right, just a fun little thing for honey.